Hello fellow audio nerds, I'm Steph and this is Major Hi-Fi. Sennheiser recently released their newest headphone, the Sennheiser Momentum 3 wireless headphones. Now, I absolutely loved the Momentum 2s and I was super curious, you know, how did these ones sound and is it worth the upgrade? Well, let's take a closer look with the Sennheiser Momentum 3 wireless headphones review. Oh, hey, Steph here. Before getting started into the review, I just want to say a quick thing. If you like this review and you find it really helpful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we definitely want to try and grow a little bit, so definitely want to hear your feedback as well. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. All right, thanks. I'll see you in the review. Now, the first thing I noticed when I was opening the box was that the carrying case is different. It's really classy and modern looking. It's kind of a circular shape. And the headphones themselves are super classy and modern looking. They've got that matte black metal of the ear cup and then the, uh, the steel of the headband themselves. Actually, the whole thing just kind of felt more durable, like it had more structure to it than the original Momentum. So I was kind of excited by that because it just feels structurally, structurally even more durable. And the Momentum 2s to me felt like a very durable headphone. So it was sort of safe to say that this felt even more so. But as for the actual fit and comfort of the headphone, now the headband has a little bit of extra padding over the Momentum 2. It's coated in soft leather and the ear pads are co coated in soft leather too. But there's kind of a major difference between the ear pads of these headphones and the Momentum 2s, which is that they're just much more sound isolating. When I put the headphones on my head, I noticed right away that there was not really any gaps because the Momentum 2s kind of could sometimes leave a little bit of gap there and it makes it less sound isolating. My ear didn't touch the ear cup at all. Um, there was a little bit of pressure at the top of the head, but that said, there is more padding there too. So overall, it definitely seems like an upgrade already. Now, while these headphones are wireless, they do come with an audio cable. So this can connect to the ear cup and then connect wired just like a normal pair of, you know, regular passive analog headphones. Um, it does have a battery life of 17 hours and charges via the USB-C cable that it comes with. Now it connects via Bluetooth 5 and it supports the normal kind of codecs associated with that, so SBC and AAC, but it also supports Aptex and Aptex Low Latency. Think, you know, you're traveling on a plane, downloaded a movie, and now you can watch that without latency with your headphones. But one other major upgrade from the Momentum 2 is actually the noise cancellation. So these are noise canceling headphones and you can turn the noise cancellation off with a little switch over on the ear cup, as well as go into transparent listening, which I'll get to that in a few minutes here. But this noise cancellation is actually feels a lot stronger than the Momentum 2. I'm not sure if that's because of the fit or if it's actually like a stronger noise cancellation. It does feel stronger to me though. There are three different modes of noise cancellation though. You've got max noise cancellation, which basically reduces as much noise as possible. Um, then you've got anti-wind, which is a lighter noise cancellation, but really focuses on those frequencies associated with wind and kind of stru uh, Sennheiser says structure born noise. So I imagine that's kind of, you know, rattles and that kind of sounds. Um, but then additionally, you've got an anti-pressure mode. And this was actually my favorite mode because it's still a strong noise cancellation, but it doesn't build up so much pressure in your ears. If you kind of have this problem of feeling a little bit nauseated from really strong noise cancellation, like from Bose or from Sony, uh, these are going to be the headphones for you. And that's going to be the mode of listening. Now, all of the noise cancellation modes are choosable via the, uh, the Sennheiser smart control app. Now this app also has an EQ and it also lets you activate, uh, the transparent listening. And what transparent hearing does is it sort of activates the microphone so you can really listen to what's going on around you. So say, you know, someone's trying to get your attention, you can just on the ear cup kind of click the, uh, the transparent hearing on and you'll be able to hear that person no problem. Same thing if you're waiting for your plane to be called, um, you can still kind of be aware of your surroundings while enjoying your music as well. But another reason why these headphones are an upgrade and why they are considered a smart headset is that when you take the headphones off, it pauses your music. When you put them back on, it plays the music again. And 
um, kind of the most interesting feature, which is similar to the PXC 550 from Sennheiser, is that when you fold the headphones up, it turns them off. And when you open the headphones, it turns them on. So it's kind of a cool way to save your battery life and make sure that you actually turn the headphones off. And also just kind of a smart feature that makes it really easy for these to use and just yeah, user-friendly in general. But let's get into the sound signature of these headphones. The Momentum 3 has a nice full low end. I felt a little bit of a boost around 60 hertz, which really kind of brought punch to kick drums. It brought a lot of energy to bass synths and any other low frequency rich instruments down there. I also noticed a boost around 100 hertz. So this sort of boosts the level of the lows uh, like audibly in the mix themselves. It doesn't feel overpowering. In fact, the lows really feel quite warm and there's a little bit of extension there. However, even though it's super full, feels elevated in the mix, has this warm kind of quality to it, it also remains kind of tight and under control. It doesn't feel like this is bleeding into other areas of the frequency spectrum. It really just kind of feels like a really nice, aesthetically pleasing low end. So for example, when I was listening to the song Formation by Beyonce, the bass synth in the song felt really nice and big, had this subtle kind of feeling of extension to it. The kick when it comes in is very punchy, and it also kind of has that subtle feeling of extension, but both of those things feel a little bit louder in the mix than they would otherwise, and it kind of makes it a really kind of powerful feeling. Um, it also feels really nice and warm, so there's, there's this aestheticism to it as well. Now the mid-range of the Momentum 3 feels really nice and full, and also has that nice warm quality that the low end has as well. Electric guitars, strings, horns, vocals all have this really nice feeling of fullness and warmth and smoothness. There's a light cut around the base of the high mids, and this really kind of helps to create nice separation between more full middle mid-range instruments and those with more high mid information. However, because of another cut around 4K, which ultimately kind of lowers the sense of presence there, um, only instruments with a lot more high mid information really benefit from that sense of separation and really stand out from that sense of thickness. There is a really light cut around what sounded like 5K, and so that kind of brings a little bit of that presence back, but it really requires that the instruments that step forward in that way have a lot of high mid presence. For example, when I was listening to the song Born of a Broken Man by Rage Against the Machine, the electric guitars, the bass sounded really, really nice and big, uh, sounded very full, and also had a sense of warmth. But the vocal and the snare were still able to really kind of step out of that and have presence. The electric guitar, kind of the distortion of it, felt more smooth than usual and didn't really break through and come across as a very present electric guitar. Rather, it felt nice and smooth, very aesthetically pleasing, but still allowed that vocal and that snare drum to kind of pop through and have more presence. Now, the high frequencies of the Momentum 3 have this slight specificity to their attacks and also have a really nice sense of texture. Um, kind of left over from the high mid boost at 5k, there's this really slight boost around 6k and this kind of helps to bring out the attacks of cymbals, uh, of horns, and that kind of thing. But I also noticed right after that a cut around 7 kilohertz. And what this really does is kind of lower the overall um, kind of level of the high frequencies as a whole a little bit. It kind of contributes to that sense of warmth I was kind of talking about. But then there was another boost around between 8 and 9 kilohertz, and this really brought out a lot of nice, nice textures and strings and guitars and horns and cymbals, percussion, vocals. It all kind of brings it this extra detail that makes it really nice. And then lastly, there's a little bit of a boost around what sounded like 12k. So it's not really an audible air, but it really just kind of creates this extra sense of lift to mixes as a whole. So for example, when I was listening to the song Miles Runs the Voodoo Down by Miles Davis, I noticed that the cymbals had kind of this nice little light sense of attack to them, but they also had great texture that really brought out the individual character of each cymbal. So it really kind of made those cymbals have a greater sense of life to them. And I noticed that same kind of texture in the horns and in um, 
kind of the percussion going on, the shaker. But overall, the cymbals, the percussion, the horns, even the electric guitars had this subtle sense of lift to them that kind of gave them more directionality and just kind of a more aesthetically pleasing sound. Lastly, the soundstage of the Momentum 3 had this really kind of nice anchored feeling of a uh, solid feeling of center that's really kind of emphasized because of that sense of warmth throughout the sound signature as a whole. Now the feeling of depth felt a little bit of a little bit compressed because of the noise cancellation, but I was actually really impressed by the sense of height and by the width in general. Because of the fullness of the low frequencies with its subtle extension, and then that other kind of subtle extension in the high frequencies, there's a nice tall image of the sound that really kind of helps to separate things in that vertical domain. But for example, when I was listening to the song Shout Mountain Music by Old Crow Medicine Show, the upright bass really kind of held things together in the middle and it had this kind of feeling of gravity around it. So a lot of the instruments were kind of drawn toward the middle a bit. However, I was very impressed because then there would be these little fiddle flares that would go out to the sides and that just created nice emotional impact. Additionally, the upright bass really kind of had this nice kind of subtle extension in the lows and that contrasted really nicely from the vocals and from the hand claps that kind of came up above it. And then as for the depth, while it's not as like specific in the sense of space you feel, I did notice that the feeling of room mics and reverbs really kind of helped to create a sense of space with the headphones and I noticed it most clearly in this song with the background vocals, back, background vocals, which have a lot of spaciousness and roominess to them. So they did kind of have that feeling of stepping back. Um, you can hear the details of that room. Overall, the Sennheiser Momentum 3 is gonna be a great option for those of you who feel a little bit nauseated by such strong noise cancellation like a Sony or a Bose. Additionally, it's gonna be great for those of you who want a really nice sounding headphone that's also durable and portable. This is great for that type of thing and it also has a really nice warm sound signature that works well for a wide variety of genres. Thank you so much for watching. For a closer look at my experience with the Sennheiser Momentum 3 wireless headphones, check out the link down below. I've left a link to my review there to the Major Hi-Fi blog. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.